All right, my dudes and dudettes, I literally just finished up watching the all-new Ryobi tools during their YouTube live stream, and, you know, they got new tools, okay? Now, I am going to show you the new tools. They had some issues during the live stream, right? They had a lot of lag. It was hard to really see sort of what was going on, so I'm going to sort of wrap up everything in a pretty quick video. It's not going to be that long. I'll show you some pictures of... The tools that they talked about and then at the end of this video i am going to give you my overview and what i think about this big presentation that they had so let's just get started real quick all right so the first thing that they mentioned was new drills now let me just start out by saying i'm, I'm not very excited about new drills and and it's not just ryobi it's it's every tool manufacturer i'm just so over seeing so many drills we have enough drills enough with the drills now that said these ones here are a little bit more compact everything is hp so meaning that you're going to get a little bit more power with these and they're all brushless okay so since we are on drills i mean we're here right this is what they show this is what we're talking about i, I do like that they are making them a little bit smaller i think they needed to make them a little bit smaller i think what a lot of people that i've seen on the live stream though was asking for is actually more drill bits so i would have liked to have seen more drill bits something a little bit better quality than what they have now a lot of people are upset that they keep breaking so you know that said they do have new drills just let you know the one tool that I am excited about, though, however, is the rotary hammer. I think they needed this in their lineup. If you're a handyman or somebody doesn't want to go out and spend tons and tons of money, you know, listen, Ryobi has pretty good prices. And if you're removing towel or, you know, need a chisel, you can put a chisel in there. It is the HP. Again, everything is brushless, so that's cool. And, you know, if you need to drill through concrete, these are great tools to have. So I'm happy that they brought this to the lineup. I think it was a needed tool for Ryobi to expand on, maybe get into a different sort of market, maybe with different people using their tools. So I'm happy about that. All right. Now, along with the drills, they brought the impacts and you have to excuse the lag. This is not my computer. This is just, you know, from what I recorded off of the YouTube live stream, they were having some te technical difficulties, and everybody does. I have them, and everybody has them. Um, but you know, the impacts. Now, I will tell you, they came out with a couple different HP impacts. Again, brushless, I would hope. Um, but what I like about these impacts is they added the digital feature to them. It's not just the flip switch, you know, like you see on all of the Ryobi tools. So they made them a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, and then they also gave you that auto mode. So I, I think that they upped their impacts i think they needed to do this i really do i wasn't a big fan with the whole compact thing and this and that you know it was what it was but this right here i like that they added the digital features you just push the button and it goes to the high the low the medium and then the auto mode but what really stands out is that size. I mean, compared to the one that he was showing, not that one, but the previous one, I wouldn't even review that one. I just did not like it. But the size here is much better, more in line with what you were seeing with other manufacturers. So again, whether or not you're not that excited about it, I still think they needed to update these. Okay, so another one that, you know, I just wasn't all that thrilled about, which some of you might be. This is just my opinion. I think it's just because I see the same thing over and over again. And I, when I look at Ryobi, I look at Ryobi as very innovative, right? They come up with very, very cool tools that a lot of other companies just don't have. And that's what I'm hoping for. So will we get to those? Maybe we'll, we'll talk about that here later in the video. But this is the half inch impact wrench. And... You know whether or not you're excited about that or not it is an update again it's the hp so once again it's brushless you know and did they need this listen i'm happy that they're updating their tools um, i think it's good that they are updating their tools but i just want to see something new something that somebody else does not have now that said i am glad that again it's the hp version and it also has the digital functions so it's going to give you that auto torque feature where if you know you go too tight it's, it's going to stop before you bust something off and uh so that's a, that's a good thing that's a plus all right so the next few items cutting right saws um the recip saw wasn't blown away they have a couple cool features and again remember these are all hp so they're going to offer you a little bit more power than the other versions but i do like they added a quick release on the recip saw i i do like the updates to the circular saw the jigsaw you got the quick release on that as well 
You know, and, and right about now is where that lag started getting a little crazy. So I'm actually speeding up the video and hopefully it makes it, you know, a little quicker for you. And there's some prices down there in the bottom. Now, the one thing that I did like was the grinder. I was happy to see that. But a lot of people, as I was reading through those live stream comments was, uh, or were, was where they were really excited about the oscillating multi-tool, which I think is cool. I'm glad they have that now. And, you know, I guess the reason why I'm just not jumping up and down out of my chair is because we reviewed the jigsaw and the saws and the recip saws from, from Ryobi, what, a year ago, a year and a half ago? And they were new at the time. So it's just, again, it just seems like there's more of the same. I think the grinder looks pretty tough. I think the oscillating tool looks pretty cool. I like the quick releases on that. So, you know, a lot of people seem to be excited about it on the live stream. And if they're excited, then that's a good thing. So let's move it over to the next announced tool. All right, so some outdoor power equipment. Now, what I liked about the outdoor power equipment, and again, excuse the lag, this is just something that happened that I recorded and it's not coming from this video. It was from the live stream, so pardon. Uh, but what I liked about this and a lot of the tools they announced here were they were 18 volts. So they weren't the 40 volt system, they were the 18 volt system in the new weed eater and the new hedge trimmer. Yeah, you can see right here, a new 10 inch 18 volt chainsaw, a new 18 volt leaf blower. Those are the hedge trimmers right there. And I think that's important because if a lot of people are in the 18 volt system that don't necessarily want to get into the 40 volt system, well, that's fine. But they also released a new 18 volt mower, which I think is pretty cool. So it's a 16 inch push mower and you get 40 minute runtime on one of the batteries, which I'm assuming is a larger battery. So 269 with that and I was excited to see the push mower. Now I was pretty impressed with their 40 volt tools. So this right here is basically like the Milwaukee quick lock system. You can put different attachments such as an edger or probably hedge trimmer and all that. So I think this is a multi-tool that is actually pretty awesome. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on the Milwaukee, you can buy the cheaper version. And of course you got an 18 inch saw, which is the 40 volt. And they also got the 40 volt hedge trimmer for somebody who wants a little bit more power, maybe a little bit longer runtime. That said, my favorite out of all of the new 40 volt is the multifunctional weed eater. I like that. I think that is a good idea. But what really stood out to me was this auger. This is a brand new tool and this is what I like about Ryobi is they come out with stuff like this. It's the 40 volt auger and that, my friends, that is what sets Ryobi apart from a lot of other people. I would like to see that innovative design and it's not necessarily going to break the bank when you buy it. When I see this tool, I think of people that might have a little side business. I look at farmers. I think of homesteading. This was a big win for Ryobi, if you ask me. I think they did a great job. And uh, I'm hoping it, it lives up to you know what they're saying here on the video. Hopefully, we can get one here to test. But there is a brand new tool from Ryobi. All right, so three more here I want to show you. Two of them, 21-inch push mowers, self-propelled, dual batteries, 40-volt, one is a dual blade. A lot of people seem to be getting excited about the Ryobi mowers. And, you know, I have not used the Ryobi push mowers personally, the 40 volts. I can't attest to whether or not they have been good or not, or whether or not they've needed an upgrade, but either or they've gotten an upgrade. And these right here are two of the new upgraded mowers. You know what's cool is they're also push start and if you've seen that sticker on the side a little bit earlier a lot of people were excited they are made in the usa so that's a big plus as well so if you're a fan of made in the usa the ryobi tools right here that i'm showing you are made in the usa so that's real nice lag man this thing's always right in my face all right so the other one that I'm pretty excited about and they announced was the new zero turn the 54 inch 48 volt zero turn and uh you know they already have zero turn mower but this one here looks pretty rugged it's stamped metal for the decking you know you're also looking at what is that three and a half acres per charge which is pretty good if you ask me i mean three and a half acres per charge that's that's Pretty nice acreage so the 54 inch deck is also playing a huge role in that you got the led lighting it looks like up in front all in all i think that's really cool now whether or not they can compete with the ego i'm not sure but ryobi seems to be doing pretty good with the outdoor power equipment 
This is going to run you $5,000. Everything that we have shown you will be available in January. So January 2021. These are all of their new tools, and they mentioned they are coming out with a lot more. So I am excited about the riding mower. All right, so let me speak frank here. Um, as far as it goes with all of the new tools announced, was I excited about every single one of them? No, absolutely not. Again, I had mentioned, you know, impacts, drills. I'm just... I'm kind of over all the new impacts and the drills. I don't want to see them anymore. And I know people in the companies need to, you know, make things better. And that's fine. They, you know, I think they did a good job making them smaller. You know, I think adding the digital touch to them, I think is a good thing. That said, I'm just not excited about them. I'm not excited about drills. That's just my opinion, though. That said, there were a couple things that I was excited about. I was excited about the update to the riding mower, the zero turn. Um, it's it looks a little bit more beefy a little bit more bulky a little bit more tough than the previous version the the push mowers were great i liked the ryobi i guess it's, it's the quick lock version the ryobi version of the milwaukee quick lock where you could put different attachments in the weed eating system i think that's really cool but i'm, I'm wanting to see more so here's what i come away with from the live stream a lot of people were kind of bummed out you know, when they started out with the drills and the impacts and the recip sauce, people just sort of started leaving the stream. You know, they started out at like 1800 and they kind of dwindled down to, which is still a great stream. I've never had a stream like that, but it was down to like 900 on the stream because I think they wanted more. And the number one requested item that I've seen on the live stream where people were chatting was they wanted a coffee maker, which I think Ryobi could pull up. I know Makita did it and they failed at it. They didn't do a very good job at it. But I think Ryobi could. I think they're innovative when it comes to that stuff. So I want to see more of that from Ryobi as well. And again, don't get me wrong. I think it's good that they're updating their stuff, making it compact. But it just seems like it's year after year after year. And not even year after year. It's every six months. It's another drill. So I mean, how many drills do you need? So I really want to see what they are coming out with in 2021. You know, other than this, uh, I'm excited to see some innovation, and I'm hoping that is the way they go. But I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Did you watch the live stream number one? Um, <clears throat> what do you think of it? Other than the lag, they had some issues, but that happens. We have issues on this channel. You know, other channels have issues, especially with the live streaming. I mean, sometimes that's, you know, it just happens. Um, but that said, I want to know what you think. Are you excited about the drills and the impacts? Are you excited about, you know, the riding mowers or the outdoor power equipment? What do you think? What would you like to see Ryobi come up with? You know, is it a coffee maker? That seems to be like the number one requested thing on a live stream. So um, I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comment section below. And listen, if you like tools, you want to know about all of the latest and greatest stuff coming to market, get subscribed, hit that bell notification because we always have new videos every single week. If you could smash that like button, oh, that would be greatly appreciated. I always appreciate you stopping by. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.